Welcome in Husker Extra two minute drill Monday afternoon. Just heard from a bunch of players, Scott Frost. The news sort of started coming in a little bit um, before anyone talked today. The old depth chart changes ruled the day pretty much. There's a bunch of them. We saw Lamar Jackson get benched in the second quarter on Saturday. Eric Lee uh, still listed at number one at cornerback over him. Divine Zigbo will be the starting running back against Wisconsin. Um, uh, Tanner Farmer's listed as the number one center. It sounds like they still are hoping that Cole Conrad will be able to play. He was hurt uh, a couple. Yeah, Kate Warner listed as a starting wide receiver over Mike Williams. Uh, and then the two big ones, injury related. We knew Mick Stoltenberg was hurt. Scott Frost said he might be back this year, but it wouldn't be anytime <laughs> soon. And inside linebacker Will Honus uh, was injured early in the second quarter of Saturday against Purdue. He's out for the season, ligament damage in his knee, so he'll have season ending surgery. Yeah, I hope a guy like Lamar Jackson comes back strong. Um, I, I would hate to see him get you know, buried by this. I mean, he's there's still a lot of season left. You're still going to need him. Ozigbo continues to be one of the best, absolute best stories. Absolutely, of the year. yeah. That I mean, a lot of people just summarily dismissed him as a factor in the running back yeah. room in the postseason, in the preseason. Excuse me, the preseason, and apparently he never listened, or he listened and it put a big chip on his shoulder. Yeah, it's interesting. Scott Frost said that the two guys. He said. Azigbo started and played the whole game because Maurice Washington was sick last week and Greg Bell didn't practice that well. But then he said that Washington and Bell have had the best practices today that he's seen them have here. So that's the what, if you're a head coach, that's what you want the response to be. Right. Like, yeah, sometimes a shakeup's good. Yeah. I mean, sometimes a shakeup in anything is good. Casey's General Store, the journal well, They go star. with the pepperoni instead of the sauce. Well, or just that. personnel. I mean, the, the <laughs> people sometimes have to respond. Yeah, uh, Scott Frost said he thought that the players finally realized this week that it can be preached to them and taught to them, but they have to take it into their own hands. He liked the way that looked today. Um, he said he thought it was as undisciplined on Saturday when he went back and watched it again. I was surprised by that. And he called Wisconsin. He said Wisconsin's the polar opposite of what Nebraska's been so far this year. They don't beat themselves. Uh, they're tough. Uh, and they're really well coached. Yeah, I mean they're they'll be they'll be difficult. They're a 22 and a half point favorite at Camp Randall, but that seems like a lot to me. In fact, I would say right now I'd be shocked if Wisconsin was able to pull away like that. For the gambler, I'm Parker. Thanks for watching. Thank you.